Hello everybody. So today we're going to look at creating a mini to mini relationship inside of an ERD. We're going to show you how to do it. This is an abstract example and we're going to use an example which we actually have been using before in building a shopping cart system where we can take orders. So let's come over here to Lucid app where we can see what we've got. We've already got three entities we're familiar with. Now we have a fourth, and that is for our products. Our products is going to be what goes into the order, and so this is where we're going to have our many to many relationship. Now, I don't have a specific field that this is going to work with, and that's typical of many, many relationships. We're going to show you how to get around that in just a minute. But for the most abstract part, if we're not looking at building something out exactly, we can do it like this. I'm going to select from products, and I'm just going to drag it to orders. You notice I have many on my order side and one on my product side. Clearly, I want to be able to have more than one product that I can order in a given order. So I'm going to once again come up here to my first endpoint this time and choose the many option. So notice this creates a many to many relationship between those two entities, orders and products. Now, the problem with this is that in a database, no database lets you have many to many relationships, at least none that I'm aware of. Most of them, almost everything you're gonna see is gonna be one to many. So how do we set this up so we can actually create a many to many relationship? Well, we'll need to use an intermediary table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come here delete that quick relationship, move products off to the side, and add one new entity. And this is gonna be my shopping cart. And you might call it shopping cart items, or you'll also see people call this orders products, because this entity is gonna be used to join my orders entity to my products entity. Now, how does it do it? Well, I'm going to have a product ID, just like I do in my products table, and I'm going to have an order ID. And these two values together are going to be what makes each individual instance of my orders products entity unique. So I'm going to link my product ID to the product ID in my order products. Notice it's a one to many. And then I'm going to come down here and select my order ID and drag it down to my order ID like this. Once again, a one to many relationship. And I want that the two one to many's with the many being on my orders product entity allows me to be where I have the equivalency of a many to many relationship. Now, notice that this line comes into my shipping labels. That causes a little bit of confusion. I never like that. So I'm going to move my shipping labels entity just up like this, just so you can clearly see a differentiation and make sure that it's understanding that, yes, I have two lines coming out of order ID, but they're going to two different entities. Now, I do have one extra field here under my orders products. You might think, well, what is that field there for? Well, it could be for a couple of things. And I could actually have additional fields. I need to have the order ID and the product ID, but the others are optional. And this could be things like a quantity. So I know how many of my order. So I might order a half dozen of something and I want to put that in there. I might want to put in that it's been fulfilled. And so I know that, hey, I've got this, it's in stock. We've put it aside for this customer. I might want to have something else in there as well. That's entirely up to you. For our purposes, because we're going to keep this simple, I'm just going to change this by double clicking on it and doing quantity like that. So this gives me a little bit of flexibility, not a lot, just like I said, a little bit, something that I can take a look at. And you see that here. So hopefully that helps you, makes this a little bit more understanding and figure out hey, what's going on when I want to build different types of entities with different types of relationships that I might find inside of an ERD.
Now, these are all very abstract. And what we want to do is in our next video, we're going to show you how do we start making these a little bit more concrete so I can export out this information to an actual database. So stay tuned for that video coming.